Hi, I wanted to show you how I blur sections of my screen when doing a screen capture for a YouTube video. You might want to use this if you're doing something and want to show part of your desktop but don't want to show the other part. There's a couple different ways you can do it. Unfortunately, there's not an easy blur this section of the screen option in iMovie, but you can achieve the same effect a couple different ways. So the first way I'll show you if you don't need to do a lot of interaction with what you're showing on the screen, you're just talking about it, you can take a screenshot, so I'll do that right now, grab the section of the screen you're looking at, and then I'm going to open up GIMP, which is a free photo editing tool, and paste this as a new image. So now you can see everything on the desktop that I had and then you can do select the area you want to blur and then go to filters blur and you know bump it up however much you care to blur it if you want to make it completely um, opaque or kind of just so you can't quite tell what it says um, about five or six is usually good uh, so then once you have that effect defined then you can really easily you know, highlight another area and it's just command F to apply that filter so you don't have to even go up to the menu again. If anything else you want to blur out you can just highlight it, command F, and uh, there you go. So then you would save this image. I'm going to export it as uh, desktop.png to the desktop and then we can pull that into iMovie as a still image. So obviously this method won't work great if you need to actually be showing clicking through something, but if you're just describing something or showing a quick screen grab, this is one method. Um, so your other approach is going to be to start the same way, take whatever you were going to blur, and then trim your image to that blurred area, crop to selection, and export this one as section.png. And then this one, you can actually do a picture-in-picture -picture with your video and overlay it so you can still see clicking interacting around it. And I'll show you what that looks like in iMovie. So I've got iMovie open now. Here's a video of just me clicking around on the desktop, opening up some menus. Uh, let's do the top. I want to be able to see the menu at the top there. Okay. Right now, it's not blurred at all. So then we can import our section, just drag it and drop it in, and then stretch this to cover up the part I want to blur. And then uh, also get rid of the transitions there. You can also change that just to zero up here so it doesn't fade in. There we go. Oh, but now it's got a funny Ken Burns thing going on there. Um, let's turn that off and just say fit so we get the whole thing. Okay, there we go. And then you can see me clicking around. Um, stretch this out so it's the whole length of the other video. And then you can see whatever I'm doing and trying to show without seeing the text of the section you want. To see what the first method looks like, um, you can just drag in your still image. And then same thing here, if you uh, don't want that Ken Burns effect, then you can just click that and turn it off, say fit, and you'll see the whole screen. And then you can voice over and say whatever you were trying to say while masking multiple areas at once. So hopefully one of these ways will work for you what you need to do. Let me know if you have any questions.